What happens in reconciliation? You made my child. Say God forgives you. The priest blesses you. Then he gives you advice. It's a pity, but I go. It's always did you want? Did you want? It's like the devil is trying to get you into my heart instead of Jesus. The human world is connected by a network. That network is inhabited by an unknown life form called Digimon. Monsters everywhere. Hi. <laughs> It doesn't no, it's, not. it's not only in my home, but it's also everywhere I go. Outside, I live in a big city, and I really don't want to move just just so I can avoid Digimon. Okay, fine, I live in the country. But still, people are putting up screens everywhere! Never like it's turning into a city! When a father dies, um, his sons usually get like his land and wealth. But the prodigal son was super impatient. I want the wealth, I want the land now, r right now. Was, he actually wasn't just demanding the land and the wealth. He was actually saying, you are dead to me, basically. And the son goes out and he's like, I'm just gonna use up all this money on wine and actually pretty delicious meat and Nonsense, basically. Yeah, he squanders his money, and eventually he's literally working for this one <laughs> farmer guy um, to fill the pig's pen. And all the farmer is paying in him is some of the pig's food. So he goes back to his father, and he says, like, basically make me your slaves. And he slaughters the fat calf, and the other son's like, where's my fat calf? I've worked for you as a slave for literally my whole life. I've never gotten... There's a lot of representation in this particular parable. So the sun is just generally the world, basically. World's people. And and the father represents, well, pretty obviously God. Yeah, you just had your rec first reconciliation, Charlie. That's true. Pretty proud day. We confess our sins and do penance. We amend our life. There you go. I, think that you should go at least once a month and that's like the minimum. Join us in this great adventure of family at ilovemyfamily.us and we'll meet you in the Eucharist this Sunday. And remember how truly and deeply God loves you. Super impatient.